Barakatu to all my Muslim brothers and sisters. And uh, I greet with a warm welcome to all of my non-Muslim friends as well. So now uh, the topic of my speech is that what Ramadan has to offer for the humanity. So instead of just coming towards the, 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 the main thing which we Muslims do in the, in the month of Ramadan, which is obviously the fasting, I just want to allude to something more deeper and more spiritual as well. Because when the creator of heaven and earth, when he introduces this month of Ramadan in the Quran, look what he says as the first thing. He says that, Shahru Ramadan unzila fihil Quran, hudallin nas. So the first thing we need to understand from a Muslim perspective with regard to Ramadan is that Ramadan is the month in which our, the creator of heavens and earth has delivered his last message to the mankind. And what is the intent of that message? The intent is that anyone in any age and time, if you want to live a peaceful life, this is the recipe. And the recipe is Al-Quran, the Muslim, which hold as the sacred scripture. Now, this was on the spiritual side, that basically Ramadan in the form of Quran has given us a spiritual GPS to navigate our lives on this earth. Apart from that, if we look from the, from the materialistic point of view, obviously in the month of Ramadan, you know, 1.5 billion people, you know, when they are staying away from their food, from their drink, from all of their comforts, you know, it really instills in their hearts and minds to feel empathy and compassion for those who are less fortunate. Because it is one thing we say that, oh, I really understand and I can imagine, you know, the, the people who are less fortunate. But when every single year for 30 days, continuously, when Muslims, when they go through this spiritual practice of staying away from their own food and drink and all the comforts, it really gives them more perspective on the life of those people who are less fortunate, who are hungry, who cannot even have one day uh, food in, in, once in the whole day. So this is very important message of, uh, of, of Ramadan for the Muslim that when we are staying away from our food and drink, we should think of those people as well. Now, apart from that, obviously, just imagine that for 30 days in a row, when a person shows such a high level of discipline that he is hungry, he is thirsty, she is hungry, she is thirsty, everything is sitting in the fridge, but they stay away from all of that. Look at the level of training for what? For self-control, for self-restraint. I mean, we all know that a lot of problems we're having in the society are for what reason? Because in the heat of movement, we just say things, we just do things, which we regret later on. And this month of Ramadan is a blessed month for the 1.5 billion people to be having this self-discipline and self-restraint. And just imagine, when such a large amount of people, when they're having this kind of discipline in their life, how society would look like, you know? So, and last inshallah point, because I know the time is very short, the last point I will want to mention is this that we sh as our beloved Imam Adam Kanda already said this point, but I want to say it from my side as well, that this is the time that we should really engage with the Muslims and we should talk to the Muslims, we should visit the mosque, talk to the Muslim neighbor, talk to the Muslim colleague to know about them because it's been like ages when people are hearing about us, about Islam and all of that is not going to take us anywhere. So we pray to God that in this land and everywhere in the world, we have peaceful coexistence. And we pray to God that may God Almighty grant us success in both lives. And lastly, I would like to say is that uh, once you are uh, done with your uh, dinner at the door, uh, we have set up a free information stall. If any one of you is interested to take a copy of English Quran or any of the books, so please feel free and help yourself, and thank you very much. Thanks. <clears throat>